Artur Baderbiev, the bearded boxer nicknamed Monster Co., is a unified champion in the light heavyweight class. His appearance is always awaited by boxing fans all over the world. So the belt stay with Artur Baderbiev and... It won't be long before the appearance of the Monster Co. will rock the boxing world again against former WBA super middleweight champion Callum Smith. Artur Azilbekovic Beterbiev, born 21 January 1985, is a Russian and Canadian professional boxer. He is a unified light heavyweight champion, having held the IBF title since 2017, the WBC title since 2019, and the WBO title since 2022. As an amateur, Beterbiev won a silver medal at the 2007 World Championships, gold at the 2008 World Cup, 2009 World Championships, as well as gold at the 2006 and 2010 European Championships, all in the light heavyweight division. He also reached the quarterfinals of the heavyweight bracket at the 2012 Olympics. Better Biev is particularly known for his exceptional punching power, having won all of his professional fights by knockout or stoppage since debuting in 2013. Better Biev competed as a light heavyweight and heavyweight in his amateur career. He won the 2006 European Amateur Boxing Championships, beating Kenneth Egan and Ismail Silak, among others. He beat Egor Mekhonsev, but lost to two-time world champion Evgeny Makarenko in 2006. In 2007, he beat future unified light heavyweight champion Sergei Kovalev in the semi-finals and eventually beat Evgeny Makarenko in finals to qualify for the World Championships. In the finals of the World Championships, he faced the little-known Abosa Toev, but lost in an upset. At the 2008 Olympics, he beat Kennedy Katende 15-3, then at the round of 16, he fell controversially to local boxer Zhang Xiaoping, who went on to win the gold medal. At the 2009 World Championships, he beat young Cuban Jose Larduay and Uzbek Elshad Rasulov to claim the light heavyweight title. At the 2011 World Championships, he lost in quarterfinals to eventual winner Oleksandr Usyk by 13-17. At the 2012 Olympics, he edged out Michael Hunter, but lost again by 13-17 to Usyk. Both of these were in the heavyweight division. But Terbiev moved to Montreal to pursue a professional career. He won his professional debut via a second-round TKO over Christian Cruz at the Bell Center on 8th of July 2013. Beterbiev fought on the undercard of Jean Pascal versus Lucien Boutet, beating Gabriel Le Cronier by TKO on the fourth round. After winning his first five professional bouts, Beterbiev would face off against former IBF light heavyweight champion Tavoris Cloud for the vacant NABA title on 27 September 2014. After a tentative opening minute from both fighters, Beterbiev opened up and began landing powerful shots that visibly rocked Cloud. In the final minute, the Russian would drop his opponent three times via combinations. Before this fight, Cloud had never been dropped in his professional career. Beterbiev would close the show in round two, landing multiple hard shots to the head that knocked Cloud out, giving Beterbiev his first title. In December 2014, Beterbiev stopped light heavyweight prospect Jeff Page Jr. in two rounds, winning the vacant IBF North American and NABO light heavyweight titles. However, Beterbiev was dropped for the first time in a professional fight in the first round of the fight by a straight right to the head. Afterwards, Beterbiev would face off against another former IBF world champion, Gabriel Campillo, 
with his North American title at stake. Both men began cautiously until Better BF dropped Campillo late in the first round. The Russian slowly wore down his foe with multiple straight rights to the body. Finally, in the fourth, Better BF would land a straight uppercut hybrid that would hit Campillo square on the chin and followed it up with a perfunctory left hook before walking to his corner while his opponent slid to the canvas, barely conscious. The PSI detector in his gloves stated that the first punch landed with 973 pounds per square inch. Betabiev improved his record to 9.0 against Alexander Johnson on 12th of June 2015 at the UIC Pavilion in Chicago. Better BF knocked Johnson down twice in the fifth and a third time in the seventh before finishing him at 138 of the round, clobbering him with a left hook and finishing him off with an overhand right that put Johnson through the ropes down and out. With the win, Better BF added the vacant WBO International Light Heavyweight title to his other four minor titles. In June 2016, Betterbiev defeated Ezekiel Moderna by round four TKO, dropping him four times along the way. Betterbiev's 11th professional win came against Isidro Prieto, whom he knocked out after a flurry of punches at the end of the first round. In July 2017, Betterbiev had yet another world title eliminator fall through. He was scheduled to face Enrico Culling with the winner becoming the IBF's mandatory challenger to unified world champion Andre Ward. But the fight was never finalized amidst Better BF's contract dispute. A purse bid was later won by top rank, with the American promotion planning to broadcast the fight on ESPN as part of a show including Jesse Magdaleno. The show was later announced to be taking place on 11 November at the Save Mart Arena in Fresno. Magdaleno would later drop out with an injury. Andre Ward officially announced his retirement on September, therefore the IBF title became vacant. The IBF later announced that the fight between Betterbief and Culling would be for the now vacant world. In October 2018, Betterbief fought British champion Callum Johnson in a mandatory defense of his IBF world title in Chicago. Johnson, ranked seventh in the world with the IBF at the time, was coming off a round one TKO of domestic rival Frank Buglioni, his first fight in nearly one and a half years. Better BF accepted the fight on a co-promotional deal with Matchroom Boxing USA, which was aired live on Dazen in the US and on Sky Sports in the UK. Better BF won an action-packed fight by round four KO, which saw both men hurt and knocked down. Johnson in round one by a Better BF, right hand followed by Better BF, in round two from a Johnson left hook. Both men fought aggressively, but it was Better BF who knocked down Johnson a final time in round four with another right hand to the head. The British fighter failed to beat the count and Better BF retained his world title. After Better BF defeated Radivoje Kalaidzic by fight between Better BF and WBC and lineal light heavyweight champion Oleksandr Gvozdik, with 17 win no loses for some time in autumn 2019 on ESPN. The winner of the Akura Center in Philadelphia. Better BF won the fight by 10th round TKO. Better BF was originally scheduled to fight Meng Fan Long on March 28, 2020, but the fight was scrapped due to the coronavirus pandemic. Because Meng could not fight in Russia in a rescheduled fight and return to China or the United States due to visa issues, Better BF chose to make an optional defense against IBF Der 5 ranked at career. On 20 August 2021, Better BF was ordered by the WBC to make a mandatory title defense against Marcus Brown. The two camps failed to come to terms during the allowed negotiation period 
which prompted the WBC to call for a purse bid, which was won by Beterbiev's top rank, who offered Wondow Saivi $5,000 for the rights to promote the fight, while their bidding rivals, TGB Promotions, offered $1,000 I'd row won. Beterbiev's second unified title defense was booked for 17th of December 2021 and took place at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Beterbiev began to take over the bout from the fourth round onward, during which he suffered a bad cut from an accidental clash of heads and won the fight by a ninth round technical knockout. On 13 February 2022, top rank boss Bob Arum revealed that Beterbiev was in ongoing negotiations with WBO light heavyweight champion Joe Smith Jr. The planned three-belt light heavyweight unification bout would take place in summer, as Beterbiev would be unable to face Smith Jr. earlier due to his participation in Ramadan. In April 2022, following the WBC and IBF decisions to bar fights involving boxers from Russia or Belarus, it was reported that Beterbiev would instead fight as a Canadian in his expected unification bout with Smith Jr. in June. WBC President Mauricio Suleiman further stressed that Beterbiev had been living in Canada for 15 years, held a Canadian passport, Canadian residency, and a Canadian boxing license. The bout was officially announced for 18 June 2022 and took place at the Hulu Theatre in New York City. Technical knockout, unifying three major world light heavyweight titles. After the fight, Beterbiev indicated that he would prefer to face undefeated WBA super champion Dmitry Bivol in his next fight, rather than WBO mandatory challenger Anthony Yard, stating, Unification fights are more interesting and motivating. I would prefer to be undisputed. Unification fights is more uh, interesting, you know, it's more motivated. I prefer uh, uh, unified. Yeah, I would be undisputed. Beterbiev was expected to make a mandatory title defense against the number one ranked WBO light heavyweight contender Anthony Yarde on 29th October 2022 at the O2 Arena in London, England. Beterbiev withdrew from the bout on 19th August due to an undisclosed injury. The bout was rescheduled for 28th of January 2023 at the OVO Arena Wembley. Beterbiev won the fight by an eighth-round stoppage. He knocked Yarde down with a counter-right hook to an attempted uppercut, which floored the British fighter at the midway point of the round. Although referee Steve Gray allowed the bout to continue, the corner of Yarde threw in the towel a few seconds later. On January 13, 2024, the betting match for the unified light heavyweight champion of the world will take place. Namely, Artur Beterbiev will face his mandatory opponent, Callum Smith. Callum Smith making a statement. If Beterbiev wins that fight, then a big duel will take place, namely the unification of all the belts, namely against Dmitry Bivol, and it will definitely be a fight that is highly anticipated by boxing fans all over the world.